Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't have any makeup, but I want to have a long intro. I'm going to be testing out some new foundation. Today's video is a little bit unique because I did not purchase this foundation. I actually have samples of the foundation and let me tell you why. I actually just purchased the Pat McGrath foundation and I ordered it online from Sephora and I have not received it yet. Then I was at Sephora working, you know, working, getting my hustle on. I was at Sephora and there's another new foundation on the market and the display sucked me in. It was such a beautiful display. So let me tell you guys what it is. Hey, I'm just doing all this talking. You guys like, what is the foundation? What is it? The foundation that I'm going to test out today is the Stay Naked Weightless Foundation by Urban Decay. The bottle that this foundation comes in is gorgeous. I think it was a plastic bottle, not glass, but it looks almost like glass. And just the shape is very unique. I just thought it was really pretty. The foundation just looked like something I wanted to try out. So I instead opted to get samples of that foundation since I'm not sure yet how I'm going to feel about Pat McGrath. And I didn't see the reason to purchase two new foundations right now. And what I'd like to do is try it on today for you guys, test it out, do a wear test. And I want you guys to help me decide if I need a full size bottle of this. So this is what it looks like on my phone and look at all of these shades, 50 shades. Wow. And from what I can tell, it is a very gradient look as far as the shade range. So that means that most anyone could probably find their shade. And there are a lot of deep shades in this foundation, which I am very much so loving that. I actually matched myself in store. I'm interested to know how close I came because I didn't do like the shade match with Sephora. I just matched myself and found two shades that I thought would work. Again, the name of it is Stay Naked Weightless Foundation and it is $39. Very quickly, I'm curious to see if I did a good job matching myself with my shade. So I'm gonna check that out on Shade Finder and then we'll go on to the application. And as I'm applying the foundation, I'll do a voiceover and just tell you more details about the foundation as I'm doing the application. If you're not familiar with Sephora, on their Sephora app, you can use the shade finder. If you already have a foundation and it works well for you as far as that shade, you can choose from their selection of foundations and tell the app which one you wear and it will find the closest match to you in that foundation that you're looking at. So I want to find out if I picked out the best shades. So one of the foundations I like to look up is Makeup Forever because that one is such a good match for me. So I'll look up my Makeup Forever here. I wear Y445 in the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And it tells me that the closest match is 50NN, the Urban Decay. And that is not what I picked up. <laughs> I picked up 70 NN and 61 NN. One of my summer shades that I wear is Estee Lauder's Double Wear in Cinnamon. And it's summer now. It says 60 CG is the shade that I should wear that is closely matched to that one. And again, not the shades I picked out. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury, Magic Foundation, 9.5. Also 50 NN. Okay, Maybelline Fit Me 330 came up 70 WY. Still not either of the shades I picked out. So the app didn't give me the same shade match, but I would still say you should use that to help find your shade, especially like if you're ordering online, because it does sometimes get close. Those shades may actually work for me, but that's just not what I picked out in the store. Who knows? So we're gonna find out how I did. So this is 61NN, and if you didn't know, if you go to Sephora, you can pick out a sample of any foundation and they'll give you a sample. One of the benefits of getting a sample is that it just keeps you from buying an entire bottle of something that you don't actually like. This is Primer Water. Primer Water by Smashbox. And then my normal Tichet Eclat um, Primer from YSL, that's what I'm gonna use. It's a primer that I know I like, so let's use that one. Now I'm nervous that I picked out the, a dark shade. 
This is 61N. This is 70NN. Okay, now this is just a matter of do I want to go darker <laughs> or do I want to go lighter? Because both of these work. I know you guys may not um, know that. I know most of you probably will say go with this shade. But this light one also works for me. Um, because once I bronze the skin, it just usually, because it's the right undertone, I a lot of times like a lighter one. But for today, I'll go ahead and go with a deeper shade. I will use a beauty blender, and this is my same little sapphire beauty blender. It is still holding up, guys. I'll use a beauty blender for one side of my face, and then I'll use a brush for the other side. But again, as I'm applying this, I'm going to just read some information about the foundation. So it says that it is a vegan, buildable, medium coverage liquid foundation with a real skin matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours. It is available in 50 shades, designed with nine shade intensities, three master tones, and seven undertones. This waterproof long wear foundation feels like a second skin, thanks to its breathable formula. It feels better and looks better with stay true color, which minimizes the appearance of pores. That's one layer, and it is definitely medium coverage with the sponge with that one layer because like I have a few blemishes here and I can see them. I think the shade match is good, definitely for my summer self, but I would certainly go back and get that 61 in for my, my like winter shade, winter, spring, you guys know what I mean. Let's go to the other side. And this time I'm going to just use this Sephora brush to apply it. I just dipped it in and I'm just gonna put a little here. And I'm using this It Cosmetics foundation brush for this side. Wow. I'm really liking the coverage of the foundation. It says, get customized coverage with Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation by using different tools for application. Light coverage, use the Urban Decay Diffusing Blush Brush, sold separately. Medium coverage, use a blending sponge or the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush, sold separately. Full coverage, use a flat brush like the Urban Decay Large Tapered Foundation Brush, sold separately. And it almost has like five stars. It's rated pretty highly so far. Okay, 61NN, which was my first shade that I looked at, is medium dark neutral with a neutral undertone. 70 NN is dark neutral with neutral undertone. I definitely think that it is a beautiful finish. My pores do seem to be minimized. I don't know if it's because of the foundation or my great skincare. My pores look good and it blended out effortlessly. It seemed like I had a little bit of time and wiggle room to blend it out, but it blended out really nicely. But I do have a little bit left on my brush here and I wanna go back in and build up some coverage in some places where I need a little more, where I have things peeping through. So we're just gonna build up a little bit, guys. I avoid my under eyes because I'm gonna go back um, with concealer. So we'll just use the Beauty Blender to build up a little. I like how this looks so far. What do you think? Do you think that I did okay with the shade? So I still have a lot of sample left too. So the good part is like, if you get this little sample, you could probably wear it, you know, several days, you know, all week, a whole work week before you run out. And you could really tell whether or not you should buy it. So we're gonna put our little sample back in the bag. Yep. Mm-hmm. I would think that the amount I'd probably use would be equivalent to maybe two pumps on a regular basis. I don't know that I would use that much. I just used that much today to make sure that I could build up coverage and just to see what my coverage would be. I'm gonna do concealer here. This is my Radiant Creamy and Biscuit and I'm gonna use two concealers. This one gives me the coverage I like, but sometimes I like to be a little brighter. So I'm gonna go in with another one on top of this that doesn't cover as well. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and film this part because I want to see how does this hold up with my concealer I took a peep at the concealer there's a concealer that goes with this foundation but again I didn't really want to buy it because I have so many products right now and I'm just trying not to over purchase okay I'm just trying to calm down this is the Giorgio Armani um, whatever it's called concealer so let's blend this out but the Giorgio Armani I've talked about I like the finish of that concealer but it doesn't cover my dark circles by itself so it looks better when I combine it with another concealer okay so so far it is playing nicely with that concealer it's blending out well looking good guys I really like it what do you guys think so far and this is my Sigma 3D Kabuki brush that I like to use to blend out concealer I like the dense brush and I like to take the concealer on my little marionette whatever those lines are called on my face is that what they're called guys you know what I'm saying these little lines it helps them not be so pronounced when I put concealer over them. I'm just going to go over everything with the Beauty Blender just to kind of mesh it all together. I love the way this is looking. I really like it. I like this finish. So far, so good, guys. So this is what we look like with my concealer on. I'm going to use Laura Mercier to set my concealer areas. I'll use the Laura Mercier. And I have my little Real Techniques brush. What is this one called? The Insta Pop Face Brush. And it's really dense, and I just like the way it applies powder in my concealer areas. And I'm trying to move quickly so I don't get any creasing. But the denseness of this brush, it just really helps to conceal those pores. Just test it out, guys. Go get you one. It's affordable. You'll love it. I love it for just packing on powder. This is the Cover Effects Powder in Translucent Deep. And I like using this one as well as a couple of other deep powders in the non-concealer areas. I love my deep powder. Like any of the powders that have a little bit of tint, I just like using them in this way. So isn't that pretty? See? And that's how you get that brightened look. Let me grease my lips a little bit. <laughs> Greasing my lips, guys. This is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst. It's like a lip oil. So good. This is 24-hour wear, and you know I won't be wearing it 24 hours. It is now... 6 15 and i started filming this video in the five o'clock hour at some point and i will wear it through the night and then i'll check in later tonight and let you guys know how it wore i'm really liking how it's looking so far i just wanted to test it out and get your input as to how it looks on me and whether it's something i need to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy this foundation so i'm loving this finish right now so time will tell if it stands the test of time. I'm, I, but I'm right feeling it. I'm liking it so far, guys. Really am. So let me finish my face and I'll check back in with you later. Okay, everyone. So I'm back. I've completed my makeup look and it's been maybe two hours since I started applying this makeup. And let me tell you guys, when I got up from this seat, because I got up from this seat and moved to my vanity to complete my makeup look, and as soon as I sat in the chair, I was like, wow. Sometimes it's hard to tell just by looking in this mirror how good the makeup looks, but when I went to my other mirror, I was shocked and amazed by how good it looked just with my bake on i could just tell everything looked so smooth and at this point it feels very lightweight on the skin 
I do have on a little bit of highlighter, but I try to go really light on any of my highlighters or luminous products so that you all could get a true look at the foundation and how matte it is. But I am really, really feeling this foundation. It is very lightweight and it is gorgeous on the skin. So I'm excited to see how long it will wear. I'm not gonna really be able to do a full wear test today just because of how late it is in the evening, but I am gonna keep it on for a while and film some other videos and I'll check back in with you all later so we can see how it is held up. Definitely so far, I'm loving the foundation. You guys let me know in the comments how it's looking so far, okay? So I'll be seeing you guys in a moment. I'll check back in and let you know how it's wearing. I'm back and it is now after midnight and I don't know how long I've had this on. <laughs> I've been inside more than I have been outside. I did leave, but I wasn't out very long. And sometimes when I'm inside, I just glisten more. I just noticed that about myself. So I haven't touched up or anything and I'm ready to do a little touch up. I'm going to do that just so you guys can see how well it does touch up. So I'm taking a little bit of the Laura Mercier powder and we're just going to dust a little bit here just to see. Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And if I was touching up, I would probably use my blot powder normally. During the day, I use MAC blot powder to blot my face. But if I was trying to extend my makeup, I might use translucent powder. I might use translucent powder to extend it a little bit. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay. This is what it looks like with just a little bit of touching up. And honestly, it just, it wore really, really well. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's time to take this off. And remember, I don't know if I said this, I filmed three videos today, but I have a little bit of something, mascara or something that got on my makeup. So ignore that. And this lash is doing some wonky stuff, but that's not why we're here. We're here to look at this uh, makeup here. And this is what we look like. I've taken off some of my jewelry. As you can tell, the foundation is long wear. Um, it didn't break apart or anything like that. Um, I feel like my pores are a little bit more visible, but I did add powder on top of my already oily skin. So normally I would probably powder and then I would like set it again with some setting spray. But I just zoomed in so that you guys could just take a little bit closer look at it and see how this has worn. And I just like it a lot. I think it looks really good. I just think it is a really good long wear foundation. You guys let me know, is this one I should purchase or not? I did touch up my lipstick a little bit because I ate, so I did put some more lipstick on, but I didn't do anything else. So this is what this is what we look like after seven hours of wear. I think it looked great. I think it held up amazingly. I do think it is very long wear. I would not wear it for 24 hours, although this one is a good one as far as foundations that claim to last 24 hours. I honestly think that this would last all night, all day, all night. You could just keep on wearing it. That's it. I'm getting ready to take this makeup off. I'm tired. I'm just starting to be loopy. I'm so tired I'm loopy now. Yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this review of this foundation. Check the description box for any details, links, and all of that jazz. It'll be in the description box because I may forget to tell you guys something because I am so super tired at this point. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Be sure to let me know whether this is a foundation I need to purchase. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.